Hello, and welcome to this demo showcasing the new image to URL supply chains in the VMware Tanzu application platform. My name is Ryan Baker, and I'm a technical marketing architect for VMware Tanzu. Until now, the Tanzu application platform has had the capability to take you from application source code to an application URL using a variety of out-of-the-box supply chains, which include the capabilities such as performing continuous integration tests, scanning source code for vulnerabilities, building a container image for your application using cloud-native build packs, mitigating the need for developers and operators to build and maintain Docker files, scanning the resulting container image for vulnerabilities, and finally, deploying the application using configuration and conventions derived from the application during the build process. However, VMware realizes that many users have an existing investment in the processes to build container images, such as using continuous delivery pipelines to build images based on Docker files, and we want to ensure that a user can continue to leverage those investments with the Tanzu Application Platform. Starting in the Tanzu Application Platform 1.1, users will have the ability to use images built outside of the supply chain. Let's take a look at how this works, but before we do, let's examine how this changes the supply chains, focusing on the test and scan supply chain, which we have previously used in demo videos. For a detailed look at those supply chains, please check out the demo video linked in the description. When using an image as your source, there is no longer a need to test or scan the source code, as well as build a container image. Therefore, we simply skip those steps. However, we still provide the opportunity to scan the container image to ensure that it meets the security team's scan policy and creates Kubernetes configurations to run the application without the required operations or development teams to deal with the quote unquote wall of YAML typically associated with getting an application up and running in Kubernetes. Let's take a look at this in action. Similar to our previous demo video, let's use the Spring Sensors application. However, rather than letting the Tanzu application platform build the image for us, let's go ahead and build the container manually. We'll do this by performing a spring boot build image command. This will take a bit of time to complete, so we'll accelerate through it. Once the build is complete, let's retag and push it to our container registry. Now that we've built and pushed our container image, let's go ahead and create our workload in the Tanzu application platform to deploy our application. We'll use a workload.yaml file, which specifies the location of a container image rather than the location of our source code. Now that we've created the workload, Let's see our supply chain in action via the workload visualization plugin in the Tanzu application platform GUI. As you can see, the supply chain will scan the container image to ensure that there are no vulnerabilities which exceed our scan policy. Once validated, the Kubernetes configuration will be generated to run our application, which will then be deployed to our Tanzu application platform cluster. Now that our supply chain is completed, let's go out and check our application via the runtime visualization plugin. Here. You can see all the same functionalities available, such as the routes, revisions, and running pods. Let's click on the link to our application to ensure that our application is up and running, which it is. This was a very quick demonstration using the new image to URL capability. If you would like to see more about the supply chain or any part of the Tanzu application platform, please feel free to view the previous demos or visit the Tanzu application platform site, both linked in the description below. Thank you and have a nice day.